Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. It is always fun to learn maths through activities. So today we have come up with an interesting and creative activity for you to understand and learn parts of circle. But before starting with this activity, let me tell you that we have made many more Maths Art Integrated Activities, Projects and Working Models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all such videos on our website as well. The link to our website is below in the description box. For this activity, we need few colorful thick sheets, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a compass and a pair of scissors. Aim of this art integrated project is to learn the basics of circle which include radius, diameter, chord, arc, sector, segment etc. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Now we will start with our activity. In the first step, we will take one red sheet of paper and draw a circle of any radius on it. Then we will carefully cut out this circle using pair of scissors. So students, now we have got a circle with us and in this video, we are going to learn about different parts of circle which are center, radius, diameter, chord, circumference, arc, sector and segment. So let's first start with center. The middle point of the circle is called center of the circle. So let's take the black marker pen and mark the center of the circle as point O. Now next we will learn about radius of the circle. Line joining the center of the circle to any point on the circle is called radius of a circle. Like here, OA is the radius of this circle. Similarly, if we draw another line from center O to point B on the circle, then OB is also radius of this circle. So students, OA and OB are radii of this circle. Now next we are going to learn about diameter. The line passing through center of the circle is called diameter of a circle. So here AC is the diameter of this circle and students remember that diameter can be drawn horizontally, vertically or even as a slanting line but it should pass through the center of the circle. Another point to be noted here is that diameter always divide the circle into two equal parts and each part is called as the semicircle. Now let's learn about relationship between diameter and radius. Diameter equals to twice of radius or we can say diameter equals to 2 into 
radius. So here diameter AC is made up of two radii OA and OC. Students, if you are looking to make a project on Pythagoras theorem, then you can refer to our separate video. The link to this video is here on the top and below in the description box. Now, next part of the circle is chord. The line joining any two points on the circle is called chord of a circle. So, here students, AB is the chord of this circle. And now, when a chord passes through center of the circle, it is known as diameter. So, here CD is the diameter of this circle. Now, next part of the circle is circumference. Students, the boundary of the circle or we can say length of the circle is called as the circumference of the circle. It means if we are standing at one point of the circle and we go round the circle and come back at the same point, then we will say we have covered the circumference of the circle. And how is this circumference calculated? It is calculated as 2 pi r, where value of pi can either be taken as 22 by 7 or 3.14. And r is the radius of the circle. So, students, it means circumference depends on the radius of the circle. If radius is small, then circumference will also be small. And if radius is large, then circumference will also be large. Next, we also learned that uh, 2R equals to diameter. So, circumference can also be written as equals to pi d, where d is the diameter of the circle. Now, next part of the circle is arc. A continuous piece of circle is called arc of the circle. Here, let's consider P, Q, R and S as points on the circle. So, students, P, Q, P, R, Q, R, R, S, S, P. All these are arcs of the circle. So, remember, the continuous piece of circle is called arc of the circle. Now, let's understand minor arc and major arc. Again, students, consider P and Q as two points on the circle. These two points divide the circle into two pieces. The shorter piece highlighted in yellow is called as the minor arc PQ. And the longer piece highlighted in blue is called as the major arc PQ. Now, another point to note here is that both minor arc 
as well as major arc subtend angles at the center of the circle angle subtended by minor arc pq at center o is angle poq while angle subtended by major arc pq at center o is reflex angle poq students we also have an interesting project on mean median and mode i am sure you will find this video very useful for you the link to this video is here on the top and below in the description box now next part of the circle is sector the part of the circle enclosed by two radius and corresponding arc is called as sector of the circle here let's color any portion of this circle as shown here now students the circle is divided into two regions one is aob which is colored in blue and second region is ob ca which is colored in red these regions are called sectors of the circle if you see carefully you will find that both the sectors are enclosed by two radius and corresponding arcs now students these corresponding arcs define whether it is a major sector or a minor sector like here ab is the minor arc therefore region oab or we can say blue region is the minor sector while acb is the major arc so obca or the red region is the major sector so this is how we can differentiate between minor and major sector now the last part of the circle is segment to understand segment let's take two points a and b on this circle and join them so we have got chord ab students this chord is dividing this circle into two segments one segment is aqb which is marked in blue and other segment is apb which is marked in red now aqb is the minor segment and apb is the major segment of the circle now let's learn what is major segment and what is minor segment the segment of the circle is the major segment if the major arc of the circle is the part of its boundary students here in case of this red part arc apb this arc apb is the major arc 
therefore apb is the major segment this red portion is the major segment of this circle whereas if you see this blue part here aqb is the minor arc therefore this blue region is the minor segment so this is what we call as major segment and minor segment so students now i am sure you know all the parts of the circle which are center radius diameter chord circumference arc sector and segment so here you can make an art integrated project or a chart on different parts of circle thanks for watching my video and do share my channel and my videos with your friends and family bye bye see you in the next video